Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here talking about some of the possible killer features in the next Galaxy Note phone from Samsung, which we're probably going to see around the September time frame. And in this video I want to talk a little bit about the leaks that we have seen and what we're expecting to see here. Uh, so first off, we saw this leak from GSM Arena uh, about the next Galaxy Note uh, with the model number N910. Muscat was its name, code name. Uh, Galaxy Note 4 is also rumored to come on September 3rd. The cool thing was that the, the Galaxy Note 4 was listed uh, to have a QHD display, which is resolution of 256 times 1440, same as the brand new LG G3, which I just recently got my hands on, and it's just an amazing display. Uh, I mean, really, it uh, is pretty amazing. I love it. I love the more pixels pictures look sharper uh, but that's not just the feature I mean 5.7 inch display that would uh, mean that it would be the same size as the Galaxy Note 3 which could be good for those who doesn't want Galaxy Note phones to always keep increasing in size uh, it's also rumored to have a curved edge to edge display which we're probably not going to see uh, but it seems like Samsung could have been experimenting with both a curved uh, screen as you can see here on this picture where it's curved on the size so looks very very cool uh, but also like a flexible display uh, which probably would make it a little bit more durable if you you would drop the device. But this would be pretty insane. 26 times 1440 display on 5.7 inch. That would be a little bit lower PPI than the, uh, the G LG G3, of course, because the G3 is only 5.5 inches. Uh, but still pretty pretty bad ass things over here uh, Samsung of course already have a QHD display I think on their new Galaxy S5 LTE variant in the um, in Korea uh, it's uh, rumored to have advanced handwriting so basically this would be like a feature uh, where you would be able to type let's see here I have a picture should be right here yeah that you would be able to type something uh, type something on the screen and it would recognize uh, what you are trying to do uh, and that could definitely be a cool little thing let's see here if we can take a look at this so maybe if you type a name maybe you can call that person immediately with the S Pen feature uh, that you'll be able to write stuff like call that person and that it then will do that um, and maybe better like signature signature writing uh, when you need to sign stuff and things like that. Also, possibly some kind of knock code feature, uh, so you'll be able to unlock the display uh, when it's not awake. Uh, same as with the LG G3, you can just knock on the display and it will wake up. Uh, we are expecting to see some kind of smart uh, fingerprint feature, which is probably use the fingerprint scanner uh, that you do see in the S5, and also some kind of multi-network booster, which uh, could possibly be uh, the um, the network booster as well in the S5, where you can both use the um, the carrier's uh, data speed and, and your Wi-Fi speed to download things even faster. Uh, you have a possibly a swipe to launch feature, which I think is in the HTC One M8, where you can just swipe and it will launch uh, launch different things uh, like the like the camera. Uh, some other features here uh, is like an aqua capture. So um, obviously one of the big things uh, with this device could be that we could see some kind of. Um, uh, that it's waterproof, same as with the S5, but some kind of aqua, aqua feature that's the improvement of the S4 actives uh, taking pictures on the water, so we improved the, that feature. Uh, in terms of specs, we're rumored to see either like Snapdragon 805 or Snapdragon 810, and Snapdragon 810 is at least like 64 bit, but we're probably not going to see that right now, but that would be insane. But even Snapdragon 805 is going to be insane. Uh, also rumored 4GB of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, even though it feels a little bit unlikely, but we've been seeing new RAM coming out that would be able to support that, uh, or memory. Uh, and then uh, also rumor from China, some uh, a rumor about 3,600 to 3,800 milliamp battery, which would also be bananas. 4K video recording of course, 4G LTE, and a rumored 20 megapixel camera. Uh, if just half of these things are true, then I mean it's going to be an amazing device. It's going to be an amazing experience, and I can't wait to see what um, the Sami boy is going to do. Uh, but yeah, at the E5 event in like September, or maybe Sami's going to hold a dedicated event a little bit earlier than that, then we might see the Galaxy Note 4. We're probably going to see it around that time frame though. Uh, and uh, I can't wait. I want to upgrade my Galaxy Note 3. Uh, I've been using Galaxy Note phones 
for quite some time now as my main phone. The interesting thing though is that Apple is going to unveil like a big iPhone. So uh, would I? What would be my preferred device? A Note 4 or an iPhone 6 up and 5 inch? I have really no idea. Uh, but um, we just have to wait and see what's going to happen. Peace out.